And that breaking news tonight, as you've just been hearing on NBC, President Trump has tested positive for COVID-19. The president tweeted the news himself tonight, saying, tonight the first lady and I tested positive for COVID-19. We will begin our quarantine and recovery process immediately. We will get through this together. Earlier tonight, it was revealed one of the president's top aides, Hope Hicks, tested positive. She was in close proximity to the president this week. She traveled with him to the debate Tuesday and to a rally in Minnesota yesterday. Hicks began feeling mild symptoms during the trip home from that rally. The president's physician issued this statement tonight saying the president and first lady are both well at this time and they plan to remain at home within the White House during their convalescence. The White House medical team and I will maintain a vigilant watch. He goes on today to say the president will continue his duties without disruption while recovering. There is now a massive amount of contact tracing that has to be done. A public health analyst just talked to NBC News about the implications. You know, there's been controversy about how this virus is actually uh, transmitted and how much how long it lingers in the air. This is the controversy about whether the virus can be aerosolized and most scientists think it can be. And what that means is that the is the six foot distance that we want people to keep is the general population recommendation. But we might have a much longer, much uh, wider uh, period. I mean, much wider area that could be infected, uh, could be having the virus in it. That means that people who may have been farther away than six feet would still be in jeopardy. And I'm thinking of the debate uh, with uh, Vice President uh, Joe Biden uh, could also himself be in danger. Everybody's going to need to get tested, including uh, Biden and his people. And to that point, I don't see how we're going to have another presidential debate anytime in the next few weeks, actually. I think those are over unless they figure out something to do on a Zoom platform or something of that nature. NBC says at least 20 people were traveling on Air Force One with the president yesterday.